trying to pick things up where we left off. David Bodie, they'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole, 0-2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. One way three. outside. One and two. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. And that oh, misses right two and two. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. Great A-B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it is Henniger. He's got it one away. Now back. Here's Ben Zobris now. Ben Zobris. First offering on its way. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two ball count. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul two and one. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Line toward the gap in left center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. The third base pick, Chris Bryant. Ready once again, Chris Bryant. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Digging in once again. D. Gordon. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. D. Third baseman in time protecting the bunt the first pitch. And that misses inside 1 and 0. That, ball that two. missed. Close. Two it's ball two. Whoa, oh, not sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. 2 and 1 the count. The 2 1. Here's a ball for Rizzo over the first. Reined in. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now in the box, Malik Smith. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Two. 
swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Schwarber is after it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Two gone now in the Mariners sixth. And up next, the corner outfielder Mitch Hanniger. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Contreras is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Mariners. But they hold a 2-0 lead. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park here in Seattle. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And double barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left hander and a right hander start to throw. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there. But he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Made pretty quick work of him right the there, batter, setting him down nine. on only Short four stop. pitches. Pop and what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Standing in now, Javier Baez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No hits to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out well, to hopefully awesome. keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any signs of now intimidation with these field middle of the order Kyle guys. Elliott. That's back to back K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Now the one and one pitch. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Santana ranging back. A leap, but he can't get it. It's off the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Now about it. And as the you right see fielder. right there, that'll Jason push his hitting streak Hayward. yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Maddie. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. Here's Jason Hayward now. Swing and a liner. 
That's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Boy, there's the another catcher, opposite base hit right there, D-Row. He's turning a April showers into May Fowlers <laughs> right now. There's no doubt about it. This guy has gotten off to a hot start, but it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not just pull happy or trying to push everything the other way. He's taking what the pitcher's given him. First pitch of the at-bat. And that's cut on and missed, 0-1. Oh, one. Hey, great arm action on that changeup right there. You come up to the plate with runners in scoring position, you're going to be super aggressive. I don't fault that guy for swinging through. No ball. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And the recovery will be in time. He's out at the plate. And a costly decision to trip for it there as all of a sudden the inning is now over. One left for the Cubs. They trail things here two to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball just misses for ball one. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Now the payoff pitch home. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Schwarber is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now batter. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. In there, 0 and 1. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. So stepping in, Domingo Santana, one for two on his line so far in the game. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. They're up two to nothing. Wilson Contreras. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hard hit ball to short. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Yuri Garrett enters the ball game to replace the starter, and some may feel he was pulled a bit prematurely. Yeah, I'm sure the lefty wants to stay out there, too. But this is one of those situations where the manager felt it was time to start playing the matchup game. With the right-handed batter up next, they're hoping this... right-handed pitcher gives them a better chance to get an out. He's set. Here it comes. 
pulls this one in the air out to left. Santana a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The batter. Striding forward the now hitter. is the DH. David, David Bodie. Bodie. One for two in the ball game thus far. Daniel Descalzo will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number three, Daniel Descalzo. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. In his career versus this pitcher, he's one for three. That misses 2 and 0. Oh. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count 2 and 0. Oh. 3 and 0 oh now. Garen offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around, and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off-balance swings against it, and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. That one's in there, three and one. Contreras, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he lays oh, off, ball four. Right so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now batter, second baseman. Damn. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ben Zobrist, so far two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Two balls and no strikes. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Here it comes, 2-0. Into center field, line drive base hit. And that's going to bring in the run from second to make this a one run game now. Hey, listen, when you have a good sinker, you have to throw it, but he's going to have to get the ball much lower in the zone than that last one. Yeah, from the offensive side, Dan, two seamer, pitcher, sinker, baller, what have you, you're looking for that thing to pop out above the belt, and that's exactly what happened right there, miss middle. Ready for another shot now, Chris Bryant. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up with it. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. So a three-run blast is straight away left as they've taken a two-run lead. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got, a really bad result. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention So they'll go to the bullpen now, now and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Oh, there you go. First Into the box 44. now, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he fouls this one off. Four runs here in this half inning. Had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. 
Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit sharply on the ground. Beckham ranging up the middle. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. The the Next will be the cleanup hitter, Javier Baez, Javier. going down on strikes Baez. last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball yeah, get a little deeper. Now. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The 1-0. Oh. oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo home run there for Javi Baez. Number 10 for him on the year. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. And no now, swing, apparently. One Ball one. Oh that misses, God. and we're even at two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. The 2-2. Two -two. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and two. Five runs, ten hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. This is drilled, but right into the ship. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Cubs five and the Mariners two. Digging in, Tim Beckham. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Almora, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Now batting, catcher. In now, Omar Narvaez earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Here's Baez to make the catch, and that becomes out number two. At the plate, number 25. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. This one's down to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery won't be in time as it beat the throw to first. 
Well, it's been a while since they had a base runner. More than three innings to be precise, but they've got one now. We'll see if they can get a little something going here. Into the box, D. Gordon. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, after back-to-back -back two-out out hits right now, well, this pitcher it. thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, Man. and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. In now, Malik Smith, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he popped him up. Bryant in foul ground. But this will land on top. Oh, he pops it up. Bryant on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Mariners leave a couple. They trail 5-2. Anthony Swarzak enters the now game from the pen, the and because this is a non-save situation, 30. it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Liner towards second, and that is into right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. It's a great job right there to get a leadoff knock. You've got the lead. You have the a chance to add on in the later Wilson. innings. Leadoff guy getting on sets the tone. the young catcher Wilson Contreras righty against righty as this is taken for a ball it's one and oh he's working on a one for three thus far a ball and no strikes here it is fouled off Hayward aboard here at first with nobody out This one up. Beckham has a play. Makes the play one away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Standing in now, Albert Elmore, right. as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Runner, runner, runner. Runner's on the move for second. Fouled away. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And another foul ball. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Runners on first with one down. He's going, he's Runner going, going he's a going. second time. 
pitch outside the throw. He is in time. Navarez throws him out. Not every catcher could make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. And he struck him out, so a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Nothing in the Cubs' half of the ninth. Last chance coming up now for Seattle. They're down here 5-2. to two. Riding into the box, Mitch Henniger. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Hard hit ball to second. Zobris has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So striding forward now, Edwin Encarnacion. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. There to play to Zobrist. Throw on to first will take care of Encarnacion for the second out. The batter. The designated hitter. Next will be the designated Ryan. hitter, Ryan Healy. And Healy. he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, one pitch on its way. Behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Last chance for the Mariners. Line towards center field. Almora is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. 5-2, the final score tonight. The Chicago Cubs came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Cole Hamels wins his third of the season, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.